Hi friends, many of our channel followers who happen to be cricket enthusiasts as well as fast bowling enthusiasts requested a video on young Indian fast bowling sensation Umran Malik. So I am going to make a little technical analysis of the fast bowling action and dynamics of Umran Malik. Apart from this, I would also like to share some important inputs based on which Umran Malik can bring some changes in his bowling action and increase his top speed to around 160 kilometers per hour. If we look at the dynamics of Umran Malik's bowling action, he belongs to the category of side chested bowlers. Side chested bowlers are also referred to having a side on action. In contrast, there are open chested bowlers. Some of the famous fast bowlers having an open chested action in international cricket are Colin Croft and Malcolm Marshall from West Indies, Andrew Flintoff from England and the current fast bowler from India, Bumra. Some of the famous fast bowlers having side chested action are Jeff Thompson, Shoaib Akhtar from Pakistan. Vakar Yunus from Pakistan, Fidel Edwards from West Indies and the lesser known fast bowler from Australia, Duncan Spencer. But if we look at modern cricket over the last 20-30 years, most of the famous fast bowlers belong to the category of mixed action fast bowlers. Mixed action fast bowling incorporate features of both side chested action and open chested action. Some of the famous bowlers with mixed actions in international cricket history are Brett Lee from Australia, Alan Donald from South Africa and Javagal Srinath from India. After a long time, we are seeing an express bowler with a proper side chested action in the form of Umran Malik. During the delivery stride, Umran Malik's action is properly side chested. His leading leg, that is left leg, as well as the back leg, are at right angles to each other. He is not very tall, but he has a good jump. He has a very good delivery stride. He creates adequate torque by twisting his body, but ultimately delivers the ball with a straighter arm much like Jeff Thompson of Australia. Umran Malik is already bowling at very good speeds, consistently at around 90 miles per hour. He has reached a top speed of around 153.5 kph. But if he wants to increase his top speed further, I suggest that he make some changes in his bowling action. I suggest three important changes to his bowling action. I am not asking Umran Malik to change his action completely. I am only asking him to incorporate these features based on fast bowling dynamics. First change, Umran Malik should develop a slightly diagonal run-up. With a diagonal run-up, he can make use of the bowling crease better. When he approaches the bowling crease, he can cover more distance during his delivery stride with his existing jump. The secret of generating more pace is to increase the length of the delivery stride. This in turn can be achieved by having a diagonal runner. I would like to stress again, I am not asking Umran Malik to increase the height of the jump. Height of the jump can be maintained at the same level. But by going for a diagonal run-up, he can cover more length and achieve an increased delivery stride. So two things are achieved by having a diagonal run-up. Apart from this, diagonal run-up also helps him achieve a smooth, steady run-up. Right now, he is having a linear run-up. He is running in a bit faster. So this diagonal run-up can help him conserve energy. This conserved energy can be used at the time of delivery stride. 
third aspect during his delivery stride he has to lift his leading leg that is left leg a bit higher stretch it and land it on the bowling crease even now umran malik has a proper braced leg but i am asking him to increase the height of the leg he has to lift the leg and stretch it a bit further much like jeff thompson and wakar yunus all these three factors will increase the overall torque and help him deliver the ball with a greater punch since umran malik is not too tall these three changes will help him generate increased torque from his existing bowling action umran malik can learn these three aspects from the action of pakistan fast bowling great wakar yunus but keep in mind he should learn from the old action of wakar yunus when he was around 18 years old kindly take a look at this video the three mentioned aspects can be clearly observed in the bowling action of the very young wakar yunus bowling in the year 1989 a diagonal run up better usage of the crease increased delivery stride greater lifting and stretching of the front leg and ultimately an explosive delivery from the hand kindly observe these the first ball from wakar